All right, guys. So today we're going to learn the admin print scripts action hook. Okay. So if we go to Codex, guys, uh, we can see that the admin print scripts is mainly used to echo the inline JavaScript in the admin pages header, which means if you go to the admin dashboard and if you go to the view source, okay, and uh, in the head section, the scripts that you see, like for example, this script right here, you know, this script, then there is another one, this script. Okay, so all these scripts, uh, inline script basically, not the uh, JavaScript file, the inline script, okay, uh, can be included uh, into the head section of your admin dashboard um, using the admin print scripts, okay. So it's mainly used to echo the inline JavaScript in admin pages header, okay. So one thing you must note that uh, admin print script should not be used to NQ styles or script because remember I as I explained to you earlier that this is not used to include the JavaScript files or style sheets into the head section of the uh, you know dashboard the backend uh, but it is mainly used to include the inline JavaScript the inline okay the inline JavaScript okay cool so <clears throat> let's take an example okay so what we're doing over here that we are including an inline JavaScript okay so we're using add action we're using this hook admin print scripts and then we are using our custom function okay so when the script reaches the do action it's going to call the admin print scripts custom function uh, which is this it's going to echo the script okay and uh, variable plugin URL is equal to WP JSON encode. So this is my URL. This is going to return the plugin URL, and this will be the plugin name. Okay. And the reason why use we are using WP JSON encode is because for security purposes. Okay. Uh, so what does this WP JSON encode does? If we go into Codex, this encodes a variable into JSON with some sanity check. Okay. So it accepts different parameters like the data. We are not using the options and depth that's optional. So all we have done is just pass the data, which is the URL in this case. Okay. And uh, it returns the JSON encoded string. Okay. And a false if not, if cannot be encoded. Okay. So the result will be this, you know, once we go ahead and put that into our functions.php you're going to see this result on um, when we do the view source of the admin dashboard okay so and it'll be json encoded as well okay cool so let's go ahead and uh, put that in action so before we go ahead and uh, use that into our functions.php i want to show you to you where it is defined uh, this do action hook so if you go to the adambrown.info admin print scripts, you will see at the bottom that it is included in WP includes class WP customize widgets.php. And that's where we are right now. And if you scroll down and search it, you'll see that it's included within the function print scripts. The job of this function is to print the scripts. Uh, calls admin print scripts widgets.php and admin print scripts hook allow the custom scripts from plugins okay so here is our do action here is our hook which is defined so when the script reaches at this point our custom function is going to be executed so I've gone ahead and defined my custom function uh, over here uh, using the add action custom function script variable plugin URL yes it's the same code basically copy it from there okay so let's go ahead and see if that works let's refresh the page and do a page source and let's scroll down until we find the let's see here it is as you can see a script text JavaScript that's what we had here right and then uh, Variable plugin URL, WordPress.dev, WP content plugins, my plugin, and that's what we had here. 
and as you can see that the JSON encode has escaped these slashes, right? Okay, cool. So that's the job of this uh, hook is basically. All right. So to include the inline uh, JavaScript in the admin pages header, right? So for any questions, you can leave the comment. See you then. Bye bye.